Good morning, good night, and good afternoon. My name is Ellie, and I've already started with chaos after eating my snack before recording my video. I have a giant potato in front of my screen. Come on, Padu. Come on. Come on. Move your poncha. Move. Yeah, my potato wanted to say hi to everyone and lick my plate because I ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I love my PB&Js. They're so good. But good morning, good night, and good afternoon. Welcome back to Mario and the Music Box. Um, in my last video, I spent the entire time of the video trying to figure out where the fuck this code was or how to figure out this fucking code. Well, sadly, I gave up. All right, I gave up. I will admit, I gave up. I went on YouTube. I found Luigi Kid, which I found one of his old Mario in the Music Box uh, videos, which, oh my God, he is so awesome. And he actually had the code in his, and the code is apparently 3268. So we're gonna give that one a try. It's like my code, your mom's. Three, two, six, eight. All right, obtain scissors. Ooh. Is she still here? Oh shit! Woo! Ooh. Ooh. I guess it was just my imagination. She's not here. What the fuck? That was a goddamn ghost. Run. Bitch, run. <laughs> run, get the fuck out of there. Okay, so now we are going to go room looking. We gotta we're gonna touch things and look at things. Let's see what's this. Should I use the incomplete music key? No. First you're gonna save real quick because I wonder if piano's gonna kill him. It's an old, pi old piano, although I don't have any music sheet to play with it. Wow, Mario, thank you for the giant ass lie, because you just said you had an incomplete music sheet, and <laughs> yeah, okay. Should I use the incomplete music key? Use it. Yes, yes. Potato, potato, please move. I cannot, sweetie, 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 your dad was not a glass maker, okay? Please move your bodacious honey out from in front of the computer. But we love our potatoes. Isn't that right? Ah, ah, stop licking me. That doesn't sound right. What was that sound? <laughs> we got eight by a I just about to say we got eight by a computer. God, I, I've been working all day, so my brain is like constantly focused on computers. No, the, the piano from Mario 64 has come to haunt us. What? What are these piano wires doing? Why are they moving on their own? It, 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 it took me a moment to realize that the piano has grown teeth. I should <gasps> run. Yep, it's Mario 64 all over again. The piano jumping around trying to eat you. I got up as fast as I could and attempted to run. But it was futile. <gasps> crunch, 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 crunch. Ah, let me go. Stop. The wires. They're too tight. I can't break free. Struggling for my life did not help me. Everything bad turned dark, and I felt my body break into pieces from the weight. Everything everything had turned dark. Okay, so you fell unconscious. How is that scientifically possible? You fall unconscious. So that means you can't feel shit. You're like, gone. Like your body kind of falls into a form of coma until you wake up, and that's when you feel the pain. But you were just ripped to shed shreds while being unconscious. Well, either way, you did. We died by the piano and Mario and si from Mario 64. So you gotta love it. And good thing I saved too, because I would have been the dumbass and forgot to save. And you know, gotta love it. Okay, so we are in the piano. What? Okay, so now we gotta start touching shit again. Touch. That's you. Old and dusty. Mario, I can officially say you are old and dusty because you first started on an arcade system. Nintendo cartridge, arcade system. There's a lot of things you were on, but the first one was the arcade system. Oh, it's, um, I shouldn't touch it anymore. It's, uh, okay, so I don't think there's anything over there now. Um, what is up here? Oh, that fucking hallway that hates me. Um, it's over here. It's empty. Shit. Um, don't 
on my No! 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 <laughs> Fuck! Uh, we don't... Okay, where's my F12? I'm on a computer all day and I can't even find F12. That, that shows how smart I am. <laughs> Sorry, my sinuses are just all fucked up today. Okay, so... Yeah. We're not going back into that room. I completely had to skip all that. I am... <laughs> I'm not even sorry. That was a little funny with my ignorance. Uh, let's see. Okay. Help me! Help me! Now again, I... I did see that I did lose some... I did lose a subscriber after posting my last video. And again... I'm not going to apologize for what I said about Mario being a 300 pound stereotype, but what I will apologize for is making it sound like I was body shaming when I was not. You can, in my opinion, my personal opinion, you cannot body shame a fictional character. Alright, you can body shame a real person because that person has thoughts, that person has feelings. But a fictional character does not have thoughts. It does not have feelings. It just goes by what you tell it to do in a video game. It goes by what it is programmed to do in a TV show. Those aren't real, genuine thoughts and feelings. It's locked. So, if you felt like I was body shaming you, and that's why you unsubscribe, that's how you feel. I'm not mad you unsubscribed. I'm not mad that, you know, you thought that it would be better to not be a part of my channel. I actually give you props for thinking more about your mental health. So, kudos to you. Where are these fucking keys? Ooh. Maybe I can use the skizzers to cut this. Aha! The skizzers worked. Okay, so we are going to save, because I don't think I've been upstairs yet at all. Um, can I go back through here? Holy crap, I can. Okay, so let's see. Nothing significant, just a bunch of dusty old books. Mm. I actually did not look around this room. I just freaked the fuck out and left. Is there anything I can actually touch? Well, apparently not. This room just is a giant go fuck you. Hmm. What the hell? The music box makes weird toys. It seems to have already been ransacked. Well, uh, it doesn't even look like it was ransacked. It looks like somebody just ripped a drawer out and sledgehammered it. Okay, okay. So, we're gonna save again. I want to touch that picture. I officially want to touch that picture. We're going to touch a picture. The painting is of a blonde woman with green eyes. I wonder who she is. Okay, well, I, that was just fucking little bullshit. Uh, can I go in here? It's locked! Apparently everything's fucking locked. It's locked. Can I just have a door or something kill me now? We are in the library, we are in the library, welcome to the library, and there's no light for the library. Okay, so, excuse me, okie pokey lokey dokey literature club, that is my chair, please stop. Okay, some of these books are fairly new. Spirits. Spirits are unable to take physical forms in their current form. Although, there has been reports of spirits being able to take form of their old body. What the fuck was that? I just heard someone walking. Okay, so, when they do take a physical form, be careful. They may be hostile. Your life will be at risk. They tend to be filled with hatred uh, for the living. Bitch, we saving. Angels. 
There have been no observed angels to this day. They are said to be helpful and guide lost living people in spiritual territories. Here's a funny thing about angels that I have found because I had to take a, um, a class in uh, theology of Christianity. The angels we see with like the wings that are human-like, those are not real angels. That is just what we as humans perceive what angels are. Actual angels look like demonic beings from the abyss. Like, there is one where it's just a giant eyeball, and then there's a thousand more eyes, and then there's another. Like, that's just all it is. And then there's another one that is like, it's like a mouth with 20 other eyes, and it's, it's creepy. But because of Christianity, angels have been seen as like these beautiful creatures with wings. No. No, a true angel is a horrific fucking monster. It is scary looking. Like, our brains technically can't even fathom what an angel actually looks like. And it is said in the old books, like in the Dead Sea Scrolls, that if a human actually saw an angel, they would automatically die. So there's your fun fact of Christianity. The paranormal is real. There is restless spirits which are different from booze. Boo, boo, boo. Spirits um, actively trap living people and consume their souls. Booze, boo, boo. Um, in their nature are mischievous, while these human spirits can be very deadly. They even have the power to possess people. Those that are weak-minded are usually the ones who are vulnerable to possession. Only those with a strong mind are able to perceive in these spiritual territories. I hope my research brings back... Shut up, Frederick Krueger, I heard that! Brings back valuable information to the professor. I already feel uncomfortable in this place. Whoa! I know who that person was! Okay, so that that is a reference to Luigi's Mansion, the uh, the original GameCube, because Luigi went and had to, you know, go and take care of pictures and shit. Like, not really take care of pictures, there were ghosts inside pictures, and then those ghosts got out of the pictures, so Luigi had to use, like, this random-ass vacuum cleaner to suck all those, those ghosts back. And then, um, I think the professor's name is Egad or something like that. He, he kind of looked like a, a human version of a baby, like an adult version of a baby, it was weird. Uh, he put the spirits back in the pictures. So that is a reference to Luigi's Mansion. Cool. Uh, immortality. Ritual to obtain immortality. Those who are willing to practice the dark arts will follow these instructions to achieve immortality. The dark arts. When did we go into Harry Potter? Please, please. We, we need to go to the class, uh, the class that is a uh, uh, defense against the dark arts. What the fuck? Come on. You must sacrifice your blood kin. You are able to use a blood uh, to use a body you possess, but this can result in incomplete immortality. What? Huh? You must light seven red candles in the room. You must draw seven life rooms. Refer to the room book. See chapter 24, verse 12. Of I don't give a fuck. Uh, body must be recently deceased or unconscious. It just said you had to... Contradiction, contradiction, contradiction. The ritual will be successful if the donor body turns into your previous form. Who the fuck is walking around? Precaution. Okay, it said precautions, okay? And it's like, you want to read the precautions? <laughs> Fuck yes, we want to read the precautions. Okay, ritual. Okay, there's the retarded Harry Potter. You must sacrifice your blood kit. Okay? So, it already states you gotta kill someone. And then it goes, and then, I think it's number four it said. Yeah, body must be recently deceased or unconscious. Um... It just said you had to kill someone, and now it's saying, oh, you don't have to kill someone, you just have to knock them out. That, that is, 
a contradiction of itself. Yes, we're reading the precautions. This ritual will not work on those which have already achieved immortality. It only works on mortal human beings. If a ritual is interrupted, it will have the same effect as an incomplete immortality. Okay, and missing people. Sorry, my allergies just hate me. There has been several reports of people going missing in the region, specifically in the Adderance Mansion. An entire family had gone missing. Any attempt to search for them turns out a more lost people. Eventually, all search efforts were ceased, and they are all presumed dead. This mansion has been in the rain for so long, as many people rem as long as many people remember, but all have avoided the area due to its reputation. Wait, uh, wait a minute! This is a recent paper. The date is from this year. Ooh, we got a new entry. There's some things around which are in decent condition. Death, cursage, and Evanglin. Evanglin. We're gonna read that one. Evanglin. One that is one, one to once be thought as a myth, a story. Since trances of the, since traces of this location seem to have vanished. Uh, was once a thriving town in the region. It was ruled by the cleric family. I can't even pronounce it. I'm uh, even going to. I'm going to butcher it the fuck up. Don't even. Don't even ask me to pronounce it. If you want to leave in the comments down below uh, the pronunciation, I would love that. But otherwise, I'm just going to butcher the fuck out of it. And I don't feel like butchering words. Um, after their downfall is when the entire reign went into turmoil. The only people left who are able to keep order in the adherence, um, although there was little hope of the... Who the fuck keeps walking? I keep hearing it. I keep hearing it. And it, it's bothering me. I just keep, keep hearing that. You know, I'm just like, fuck you, stop walking around. Because it's not my animals. And it's not my kiddos. Somebody's fucking walking in this game. It's bugging me out. Although there was little hope of the small town surviving. We're going to save. All right. Death. The more you fight it, the worse your death will be. What? What was that? Who the fuck? Where the fuck did you go, bitch? What? There were some things around which are in decent curses. Only those with enough hatred in their hearts can give a curse to locations. Those powerful enough can spread a curse through the land. While a curse is active, living people become trapped in the location, unable to escape. Mm, sorry, allergies, sorry. The only way of escaping is by breaking the curse, bringing the spirit, at peace, or the spirits rele or the spirit releasing you from the curse. Although this is purely hypothetical, I'm fucked. I'm really, really fucked because Mario did not want to leave this house. Okay, there's a note here. I have learned of a ritual which can make me immortal. I can finally be with my husband forever. Nothing else matters. I only live for him. He has always been there for me, and I will always be there for him. I won't let this illness take my life. Excuse me? Excuse me? What? Okay. Isaac. Oh, we found a journal. Okay, we're not going to read that real quick. We're gonna save again. Saving, saving, fairy, saving fairy princess. That fairy princess thing I remember is actually from Cow and Chicken, and Cow will, Cow will say like something weird, like dancing, dancing, and then at the end she'll go dancing fairy princess. I loved Cow and Chicken growing up. Okay, Isaac a journal. Isaac, Isaac, Isaac's journal. 
I'm not even saying the last name. To my wonderful daughter, Alice. Please hear my warning about the man you're about to marry. While he has been my companion for years, there's more to him than what he shows. I've committed grave mistakes in the past, and I cannot bear to watch my daughter commit the same mistakes. Please do not trust him. Your birthday is coming soon. On October 28th, I was happy to see your smile. I vowed to protect you, so I will protect you from this demon. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so apparently the man, well, yeah, I think everyone knows. The man, this book, the the books are two time worn. Okay, so apparently, yeah, we all know that she did not marry Mario. It was just a sad joke because I don't like Mario. There's a note here. The chest in this room contains my hopes and dreams. The escape and the key. Date and month. It is guarded by the date of my birth. October 28th, bitch, because I just fucking wrote it. It's locked by code, so it's day... Thank you for writing in fucking French. What? How did they even get this picture? Who would make something like this? I doubt even Bowser would do something this threatening. Oh, there's something here. Found master bedroom key. Brr, I feel so cold. What is that feeling? I should get out of here as fast as possible. Everyone must be worried. Sick about me. Oh no, I'm surrounded. You will join us! <laughs> it, it's so loud. Why is it so loud? Suddenly silence. Everything around me went dark. Where am I? I can't hear a single thing. I can't even hear my own heartbeat. Is this death? Hello? How well? How well? Death by book. Death by book. <laughs> that was a death by book. All right. So, this, I want to thank everyone for coming and watching this video. You guys were awesome. I love you. I want to give a shout out to everyone who has subscribed. Love you guys. And then I want to give my shout outs to my to my peoples that I work with. Love you, Matt. Love you, Waifu. Love you, Kit. You guys are the bomb. You're awesome. And then I got and then. Mr. Squishy, hi! And yes, I'm back. I'm back. Don't know for how long. If work starts picking up again, or it gets too stressful, I might take a small sabbatical. But you guys are all awesome, and I love you guys. So, good morning, good night, good afternoon. My name is Ellie, and thank you for coming and joining me on this adventure with Mario in the Music Box. Um, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. You guys are beautiful and special, and I love you. So, come and join me in the next video. Also, if you have a comment, leave it down below. Even if I'm, uh, as ye even if I'm one short of a kitchen sink. So, ciao!